Hello and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So I'm trying this new setup for the videos from now on because this is what basically I set up for my live stream that I just did today for my office hours and it turned out to be a really resounding success. It was a lot of fun. We had some people and we had a great discussion. So today we're going to be looking at this particular problem which is dealing with checking whether there's an almost draw within an election. So for example, if we have three candidates, A, B, and C, then if we look at this string right here, then the number of each of the characters is at most one in difference. So there are two A's, two B's, and one C. So we say that we have an almost draw if it's either a draw itself or the number of occurrences is at most one in difference. So um, here, if we have, for example, three A's, two B's, and one C, then that is not an almost draw because the number of A's is three, the number of C's is one, the difference is two. So the language that we're looking at is the set of all strings in A, B, C star, such that an almost draw occurred. And what we want to show is that this language is not regular. So in order to show that this is not regular, we have to use the pumping lemma, or at least it's a one good technique. So in order to apply the pumping lemma, let's apply the main steps. So the first step is to assume that L is regular. And then the second part is because we know that L is regular from the first step, we know that there exists a pumping constant P for L. And now we got to pick a string in the language of length at least P. So what we want to do here is we want to pick a string that's in the language such that there is an almost draw in that string. And my advice for what string to pick is, is to pick one such that we're right on the boundary of not being um, an almost draw anymore. So, for example, what we could pick, and this will work, is to choose the string a to the p plus 1, b to the p, c to the p. So note that the difference in the maximum number of one character versus another is 1, which therefore is an almost draw, and is clearly of length at least p because we have length 3p plus 1. So what we want to do now is, as always, pick and i such that uh, x, y to the i, z is in L for all i at least 0. But the problem is, what are these x, y's, and c's? Well, remember, we have to look at every single decomposition of x, y, and z it, of the string w. Well, we know that the length of y is at least 1, and the length of x, y is at most p. So that tells us that the x and the y part, those are within the a's right here because the first p characters are a's, well p plus 1, and at most the first p characters involve the x and the y part. So that tells us that x is some number of a's, let's call it alpha, some number of a's, y is some number of oh, a's, not zeros, so it's a to the alpha a to the, let's just call the number of a's in y beta, and we know that beta is at least 1 because the number of y's is at least 1. So then the rest of the string is, well, we started off with p plus 1 a's, then the x part took away alpha, the y part took away beta, and then we have b to the p, c to the p, because the x and the y part didn't touch those two parts. Okay, so then let's try, for example, i equal to 2. Well, if we look at x, y squared z, squared is just the fact that we have two occurrences of y. Well, that is just uh, a to the alpha, a to the 2 beta. And I'm just copying down the decomposition that we have here. So a to the p plus 1 minus alpha minus beta b to the p, c to the p. So this is just a standard pumping lemma technique. We know that the alphas will kill themselves off, and one of the betas will go away. 
So at the end of the day, we'll have a to the p plus 1 plus beta, b to the p, c to the p. So then the question we need to ask ourselves is, is this an almost draw? Well, in order for that to be true, that means that the maximum number of one character minus the minimum number of another character must be at most one. Well, we know that the number of a's is the maximum because it's p plus one plus a positive number. And the minimum could either be the number of b's or the number of c's is the same in this case. So this would imply that the absolute difference between p plus one plus beta minus the number of p's, which is, uh, uh, sorry, the number of b's or c's, which is p in this case, has to be at most one. Well, the we can easily see that the p's are gonna go away, and we know that beta is positive, so we can eliminate the absolute value signs. So that implies that beta plus one is at most one, which is equivalent to saying that beta is at most zero, which gives us a contradiction because we must have that beta is at least one. And we arrived at beta is at most zero, so therefore it's a contradiction. So this implies that x, y squared z, the string we have, is not in the language L, which implies that L is not regular. So pretty standard pumping lemma technique. The only thing that was kind of interesting was this part right here, where we had to absolutely make sure that we didn't get a string that was an almost draw, that had an almost draw in it. So I hope that was interesting. Uh, leave a comment below if you found it a different way. Uh, please give a like if you support this content. Please support me on Patreon if you are so generous. And as always, I'll see you next time.